Normally, September brings a sigh of relief for parents as the kids head back to school and the family gets settled into a Monday to Friday routine. But this year, of course, everything is different. Many of us parents are looking for ways to keep our sanity this September and onward. So Lisa's here with tips that will help parents and the kids come out on the other side with most of your marbles intact, we need that. And what we need to focus on, Lisa, is organizing. <laughs> Our time management, how do you suggest we start to organize that? Oh, T, I hope I give you back all your marbles with this segment, <laughs> okay? And that is certainly my promise. So first things first, and it's actually a pretty simple tip that we're gonna start off with. That is organizing your time and your space, starting with what we constantly have in our hands all day, every day, and that is our smartphones. The biggest thing I want you to do is get familiar with your calendars in the operating system of your phone. So whether you're using a Google Calendar or you're using an iCalendar and an Apple device, there are a ton of updated features that are updated constantly for you to become more organized with your time. I'm gonna recommend that you do this for the kids too because studies have shown kids not only respond better to a schedule, but they become more efficient as they grow as well. So getting used to your calendar on your phone, keeping it updated, that is definitely tip number one. Number two, activating features like family sharing specific to the iCalendar can bring in a network of up to five family members so you can stay updated in real time as those updates to appointments or schedules change. Next thing, what about the devices themselves? On average, every day, we are using five to seven technology devices all day, every day. So we wanna make sure that there is a centralized space in the house to keep them charged. So when you get home, make it a practice. Charge it in a charging station like what you see right here. Got our schedule synced. We're all on the same calendar. Everybody's on the same page. We got to talk about food. Lunches, dinners, let's get organized. How can you help us there? How do we make sure that we are avoiding the last minute meal stresses? We're avoiding the lunchbox letdowns. We are avoiding drive throughs, which are never easy on the waistline or the wallet. I'm going to recommend number one, let's get ahead of the curve and in your calendar, schedule meal prep twice a week. Next, you can actually um, get a more robust uh, meal prep app. So we have something called Meal Lime in the App Store. And what I love about this is not only does it customize your meals, but it also allows you to, if you're going keto, if let's say you have somebody that has allergens in the house, if uh, you wanna go meatless Monday, let's say, you can customize all of that in this Meal Lime app and it would auto-populate uh, your actual grocery list, and that will sync to your calendar. Now, in your calendar, you can actually go into your app store as well and activate an app called Picnic, which I love. In this Picnic app, you can actually sync, you know, any kind of appointment, your to-do list, if you have a bill payment on time, but it also syncs in with any meal prep app, so now you can auto-populate your grocery list, you can say where you want to grocery shop. Everything is super, super organized, and you get updates and reminders as they happen in real time. I love these apps. They are absolutely fantastic. And I know a lot of the times we think, yeah, apps are a great idea. Am I actually going to use this? I can promise you with the Picnic app and this Meal Lime app, I promise you, you will use them. I would definitely use that, absolutely. Now, the last thing we need to hit is sleep, uh, which is crucial. You're gonna have a bad day if you don't get enough. So what can help us with our sleep, Lise? Okay, so Canadians in general, and this is across the board of all ages, we are guilty of overscheduling. I can put both hands up on that. Especially as women, we tend to think we can do it all. And would you believe that 70% of all Canadians are not resting or sleeping properly? So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is let's set the mood. Let's get right into the bedroom and figure out how to improve our lighting and our ambient noise. Because once again, studies show that if your lighting is right and if your ambient noise is there, the chances of you resting properly are definitely higher. So what I have in front of me is a Zenergy, don't you love the name? A <laughs> yeah. Zenergy sleep machine. Okay. So this is not only uh, great in terms of, once again, setting up a little bit of a zen, tranquil environment in your room, 
But this is also an alarm clock, which I love. And what that does is now encourages you to get the devices out of the room, use a traditional alarm clock. You have multiple different sounds, soothing noises. You also have a, what's called a sunrise light in here. So as we've talked before, T, on this, you can now wake up to what mimics a sunrise. And as we move into the winter months, I think that's really crucial. What I love about this as well is that it has you focus on something else as you're resting for the night instead of the constant hamster wheel and the to-do list that's going on in your head. Next thing, which I'm really going to encourage everybody to do, is set a wake up or a good night routine. And what I mean by that is, do you remember this, the On Vogue song that says, free your mind and the rest will follow? Oh, do you yeah. remember that? 100%, yes. So, so same thing applies here. The audible.ca app I am loving right now. Not only because through COVID I've picked up the benefits of reading each and every day, but in addition to their audiobooks, you now have podcasts that can motivate you. So imagine starting your day or ending your day with real great motivation. But in addition to that, they have something new. They have a wellness as well as a meditation feature in the app now. So now you can listen to tons of titles that will encourage your meditation practice as well. I am knee deep into the Michelle Obama Becoming book. I'm loving it but I'm also loving the meditation and the wellness features of the, this app as well. All crucial right now in these times, and that book will energize you, Lisa. Thank you so much for those amazing tips. Love them all.